So we're here in Boland. We're just west of the playing field. And we're finding out from residents uh, what the situation is for them with water, the supply of uh, portable water. We're speaking with Ms. Goldita Anthony. She's going to tell us what her experience has been. Ms. Anthony, thanks so much for jo talking with us here on ABS's Waterworks. How yeah. is the water situation You're welcome. Um, in Bolands, we don't have no water problem like that. The only thing we have water problem is, is when a bus pipe is there and they have to turn off the pipe. What people be complaining about, they don't have water for months and weeks and so we don't have those problems. Thanks be to God, we don't have that problem. We have water 24-7. The new Fry's Beach Reverse Osmosis Unit, there's an additional unit now in place at Fry's Beach. So there are now four units. Uh, it, came in, it came on stream around about two weeks ago. Since then, you've been, you've been having any sort of increased supply, any sort of imp improvement in supply, like the, the water pressure is higher over the last few weeks? I realize the pressure is real high. So that's why I'm saying it's real good. It's excellent. It's real excellent. Someday I turn off the pipe, I have to tell my daughter, turn it down, turn it down, it's too high. Mm -hmm. So this is what the residents of this area have been indicating. They've indicated that they've generally had a good supply of water, except when, for example, there's a birth pain. But what they've indicated since the additional unit has been put in place the 5 beach versus both flats is that the pressure has significantly gone up. And this is testament to that. Speaking here in Central Jennings, we have Fitzroy Weston, who's going to share his experience with us. Fitzroy, thank you so much for talking with us on Waterworks. How has it been for you with water supply? First off, good day, sir. Uh, it's a pleasure to do this. Uh, on water supply, well, over the past year, we have been having some issues with the water supply. It's been on and off. Um, of course, sometimes you will hear some dripping in the mid of the night and you get up there and you have a little water. But by the time morning, you don't have any water at that time. However, over the past three weeks or so, we have seen major improvements. Um, we have had constant water supply and the water pressure is quite lovely. So. At this present time, I don't think anyone in this area would have water complaints presently. Two or three weeks ago would coincide with when the new unit was installed at the Fries Beach Reverse Osmosis Plant. So you're attributing to that? You're yes. attributing it to that? Yes, yes, mm. I would want to think so. So this is the moment of truth. Fitzroy Weston has graciously consented to show us, uh, by joining on his staff, to show us the kind of pressure that he's been getting. He says that the pressure has been pretty good and there has been a consistent supply since the new unit was installed in the Fries Beach, Fries Beach Reverse Osmosis Plant. So, Mr. Weston, over here. Pretty good, pretty good pressure. Pretty good, pretty good. And you're saying this was never the case before the last year? No, absolutely not. Um, I mean, it would be like... More like that on most days, you know? So we appreciate the fact that... I mean, I have a washing machine that it shuts off the cutting of the water in a timely manner instead of the capacity of water and so a lot of times I was unable to complete my washing at work because the water pressure wasn't enough to fill my machine so I mean like I say now I can come home at any time and do my laundry so we've been to Bolands we've been to Central Jennings now we're in Jennings new extension we want to gauge the reactions of people in these areas and whether or not they are uh, they are really seeing that improvement in supply uh, both in terms of the amount of water they're receiving the pressure of that water and the number of days that they're getting it over the week so in here in Jennings new extension we're speaking now with Lisa Murray for the past two weeks we have been seeing an improvement in the water before that we used to have a lot of experience we have with water. I just have to get up early in the morning, like three, four, to get water. But since the new plant come on stream, I can see we're really getting a good feedback with the water. Sometimes it's drop. If like between seven and eight, it will drop. And then it will come back in full force, like one to two. And it will go through until the night, until the next day. So we can say it's a great improvement since we have the new plant. Before time when we used to have the problem, like I come home from work, I turn on the pipe, nothing. But now 
When I come home from work, I can rest assured I can turn on my top and I receive water. Good. Decent pressure. Yes. Before the new plant, would you get that kind of pressure? No, 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 not at all. When I turn it on, nothing. And normally, before the new plant, at this hour of the day, day? the afternoon, not would you normally get water? Would before you normally plant, get water before the plant, at this hour of the day? No, but since we got the plant, this is what we're getting now. And every day this is the case? Yes, every day. In terms of the areas now, the specific areas, you mentioned some of them. Let's go into a bit more detail yeah. for me. The, the ones that are getting in, improved water supply. Okay, you have Old Road, the high area in Old Road. That's the area that's west of the school. They are getting water right now. You have a little area in um, Erlins, they call London. A little elevated areas, they have water as well. You have Crab Hill. Then they come right around to Peasley in Jennings. They have water now. We have Dr. Corner in Bolands, they have water now. And you go all the way back down to even Ginny's new extension. You have a little area on the right hand side going down to Hermitage. They are also receiving water now. And it's, as I mentioned before, I even go all the way back over to Golden Grove, new extension going down to Hatton area. We have Browns Avenue, Martins Village, Cashew Hill. All these areas are receiving water now from this plant. Be clear, you have been getting those calls from customers saying we are getting more water. Yes, because we have customers that we usually call when they have difficult difficulties. So now we ask, hey, how things going? Say much better, hundred percent better. So you know we actually give a boob, boob bump sometimes, but you know you just you, you feel happy. So clear evidence here in Jennings New Extension, also in Central Jennings, also in Bolands. We've heard from customers of the APA Water Business Unit that. The new unit installed at the Fry's Beach Reverse Osmosis Plant has been making a real impact, a real difference to not only the supply of water, but the consistency of that supply and the pressure of the water. You've heard from Lisi, you've heard from Fitzroy, and you've er heard earlier from Goldita over in Bolands. We'll continue to track the progress of the APA Water Business Unit in terms of the extent to which they are making an impact in the customers' lives, in terms of improving water supply. Let's remind you of what has happened. The APUA has added about 400,000 imperial gallons per day from that new unit at the Fry's Beach Reverse Osmosis Plant. By the end of April, end, next month, they'll be adding another 1 million gallons per day from two units to be put back into operation at the Crabs Reverse Osmosis Plant. By the end of June, they'll be adding the Fort James Plant, all other things being equal. And that will give an additional 500,000 gallons per day. So by the end of June, the APUA says it will be producing to meet daily demand. That's 8 million gallons per day. We'll continue to track that progress, the incremental stages and the progress that has been made towards uh, reaching the 8 million gallons per day. Remind you, reverse osmosis plants are the most expensive way of producing water. It's five times more expensive than surface and groundwater supply. Again, the message from the APUA, you have to conserve even if you're getting the water every day, because it is a very expensive way of producing water. For Waterworks, I'm Garfield Burford. Join us next week.